Welcome back. About half past the top of the hour on this uh, wet Monday in New York City. Hundreds are rallying in support of Navy SEAL Matthew McCabe across the country today as his trial gets underway in Norfolk, Virginia. He, of course, is charged with assaulting a suspected terrorist. Somebody says he saw him sock him once, split his lip. Two other Navy SEALs linked to the incident have already been acquitted. Joining us right now is uh, former Navy SEAL Scott Taylor. Scott, uh, the first two went well. This one could be a little bit different because new judge, number one, and number two is this is the person they're accusing. Matt McCabe is the one they're accusing of striking the, uh, the terrorist, correct? Correct. So does that make, uh, does that make you more nervous today uh, for your buddy? Uh, it, I guess in a sense, yes, but again, I've always stood by him, and I think he's completely innocent, and I think that the results will be the same, and I think that he believes they'll be the same as well. Right. Also, we should point out uh, that uh, the naval uh, member of the Navy who uh, suggested that uh, he witnessed uh, Matt McCabe strike the, the terrorist, he, in the first two trials, kind of changed his story, so it'll be interesting to say, see what he does say when, when things get going. Matt, I know you've spoken, uh, Scott, to Matt McCabe. Uh, in light of the two yes. acquittals of his uh, colleagues, how are his spirits? Uh, his spirits are great. You know, we have rallies in, in Fort Worth, Tampa, Miami, Norfolk, San Diego. The New Republic, uh, New Republic Patriots have been helping out. We got about 100 folks coming out. He's very happy and very, uh, that uh, and appreciative of all the support across the country. But he's ready to get this over with and move on with his career and life. Mm -hmm. Scott, does Matthew McCabe deny the fact that he actually hit this? alleged terrorist so is that is that his claim or is he saying that he did but it was warranted no he's he's completely innocent he is not he did not strike this terrorist uh, he's passed the lie detector test as well and uh, you know he's completely innocent the petty officer have you had a chance to meet the petty officer the Navy petty officer that said yeah that there, there's some uh, the, he did get struck by Matt and uh, he was bleeding no, I have not. I have not met this petty officer. How would you describe? Uh, do you think that he made it up? Was he looking for? Was he looking for publicity? Was he looking to get back at you guys? I mean, you do you do some deep uh, deep background checks. What do you think the reason would be for a petty officer to put his career on the line like this? You know, I, I truly don't know. I don't. I don't understand why he would do that. I have no idea. But yeah. again, these three guys are innocent, and uh, two have already been proven so. And I think the third will happen today or tomorrow. Well, so far the uh, the prosecution, the government is uh, batting zero. You know, uh, they've lost the first two cases. Uh, does it worry you that now you know they're going to go full steam ahead and try anything to win this case? Uh, it doesn't worry me. I think it's a waste of tax dollars. But um, again, I, I'm hoping that the same results will happen. If not, I, I'm confident that he'll be found innocent if they move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott, why is this trial in Norfolk and the other two were over in Baghdad? Sure. Well, you have you have three civilian lawyers, and the other two civilian lawyers requested that the accuser be present present at the time of the trial. So those, those the judge ruled that those two trials would be held in Iraq. McCabe's lawyer did not ask for that, so they just kept the trial here in Norfolk. Scott, is it your understanding that the fact that these three are on trial after capturing a terrorist has put the SEALs and other special forces on their heels in similar circumstances because they don't want to end up on trial, have their careers and pensions in jeopardy? Well, as you know, I'm here in, in Virginia Beach, and I'm in contact with many folks who are on active duty, and it, it just sends a horrible message because they have to they have to worry about uh, actions on the objective while they're doing their missions and doing their job in Iraq and Afghanistan, and it's just a horrible message for our troops as well as our enemies. So. Okay, uh, Scott Taylor, a former Navy SEAL who is running for Congress in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We thank you, Scott, for taking a little time out of your Monday morning to join us live. Thank you, guys. God bless. You bet, and thanks for your service.